in this video. We will show you how to fix the game the rocket blade point that keeps crashing in Windows 11 while gaming with Xbox app. Game crashes are really common especially now that games and operating systems have become so stable. However, there are still times when games just stops working and if you have a problem like this, the first thing you need to do is to make sure the game services are stopped and then relaunch it. Here's how it's done. Press the control, shift and escape keys at the same time to pull up the task manager. Look for Niraka Blade Point and click on it. Once selected, click end task at the bottom right corner of the window. After that, launch Naraka Blade Point again and try to see if it still crashes at some point. If the problem continues, the next thing you need to do is to check if you still have enough storage space in your computer. To do that, open any folder and click on this PC. Find the drive where the game is installed and if there's not enough storage, try to delete some of your files or uninstall the games you don't play anymore. But assuming that you still have enough storage space and the game continues to crash, the next thing you need to do is to verify and repair the game files. You can do that using the Xbox app. Here's how. Launch the Xbox app. Hover the cursor over Naraka Blade Point and click the More Options icon. Select Manage and click Files. Now click Verify and Repair, and then wait until the whole process is finished. Don't worry, it will take just a few seconds to a minute. Once finished, launch the game and it should work properly after that. However, if for some reason the problem continues, then you really have to reinstall the game, which means you need to uninstall it first and here's how you do that. Launch the Xbox app. Cover the cursor over Naraka Blade Point and click the More Options icon. Click on Install Game and select Yes at the bottom left corner of the Xbox app to confirm. Once the game is successfully uninstalled, search for it and then reinstall it. It will take just a minute or two depending on how fast your connection is. Once it's reinstalled, run it and it should work properly after that. We hope that this troubleshooting guide can help you. Please support us by subscribing to our channel. Thanks for watching.